it kind of reminds me of like what happened with like Jimmy the Rev Sullivan event Sevenfold because he passed I think like two days after Christmas. Oh, that's right. I remember hearing about that. That was devastating. The he dude died at so only he, he twenty eight. He was twenty. Wait, I thought he was twenty seven. No, he wasn't twenty seven. He was twenty eight. It's still like he passed on way too soon. It, and all of this was because he had an enlarged heart. Yeah, he had an enlarged heart, and he accident. From what I heard, it was the enlarged heart, and it was also the fact that he ended up accidentally taking alcohol with his prescribed medication. Ouch. Mm. That, that also... and the enlarged heart did not do well for him. Yeah, th there's a reason why they, you know, say don't take with alcohol. Because yeah. it screws okay. around the chemicals, doesn't it? Yes, very much so. Yeah. I, I think I remember reading he ended up forget he ended up um having I think he took his medication in like earlier today and then he took it again and he had been attending a um not a wedding but like a wedding rehearsal and took them with alcohol. Um so uh what did he take? Let me see what Jimmy took. Because they recently banned uh something because of its proclivity to actually compel you to drink. Like, mm -hmm. unfortunately. He, let me see, according to Wikipedia... Ah, oh, oh, damn it! Let me see. Get out of the water, get out of the water, get out of the water, get out of the water! Come on, come on, What's come it? on! It Is says he... Driving he... this car? No, it says right here, the toxicology report said he had an overdose of oxycodone, oh. oxy oxymorphine, mm. diazepam, which was Valium... Oh, Norse, no. Nor the yeah, no. and alcohol. Okay, yeah, I just want to point out, wait. Uh, diazepam, if I'm correct, that's a benzo. They've been recently taking those off the shelves extremely recently because in the past couple of years, they found out that Xanax base can almost make you into an alcoholic. Oh, oh it, shit. Even if you yeah, even if you previously had no symptoms, but here's the most fucked up part. Benzos are one of the only apparently few drugs that you cannot quit cold turkey or it will kill you. Uh, oh fuck, that's horrifying. Yeah. He and they also noted that yeah, the enlarged heart was also a big bigger like a significant part in his uh passing. And I think he knew he was gonna pass because apparently every one of his friends in A7X would say that he probably knew he was gonna die at young age. According to I think one of the bet one of the members, Sinister Gates, he flat out said he knew he was gonna die young. That old fuck. He told when he when he he told my dad once, I'm gonna be when I'm before I'm thirty, I'm gonna be a rock star and I'm gonna die before I'm thirty. And he said that to him when he was fifteen. Oof. Big oof. That's Dude, a huge that? pill to swallow to be in those kind of shoes. God damn. He at least did as much as he could at ju at that young age, though. Dude, like, his drum work, like, if you hear his drum work from Almost Easy, it's fucking killer. It, he knew how to fucking drum. He was a talented, talented drummer. But then again, he took a lot of inspiration from Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater, which just makes it even more better. Yeah. Uh... Bless him, though. Bless him, though. May he rest in peace. This he will forever a, be remembered. This got to a really depressing discussion. Um, oh, 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 no, war no, 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 war no. never changes. War. War awesome. never changes. What is good for <laughs> absolutely is... nothing? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that way. Okay. Turn you around. know, the funny thing about that song is that it was a, a song that was meant to uh, be a commentary on how war was pointless, and yet people use it to promote war. Like I'm sorry, it has what? A, yeah, yeah, apparently it has a contradict. Uh, apparently, it was it had a contradictory uh, outcome. That the people who sent who wrote and sang that song meant it as a way to yeah, discourage people. Song. Uh, discourage people from war, but apparently put people took it as something as supporting war. What even uh, I, I don't know the entire story anymore. Wait, Miss, do you know who took it that way? Because I've never heard anyone who says, oh, "Yeah, this Christ. is supporting war." I, I don't remember. Like I don't remember the entire story, but apparently it had a contradictory outcome. 
Uh, it's kind of like I think when like it kind of reminds me a little bit similar to what happened with um, Lou Reed. He wrote a song called Heroin, which was actually criticizing the usage of drugs, and even and also he had never used heroin. He was more of a, um, I think, of a uh, cocaine user. And he was la he flat out disgusted and horrified when fans would tell him, "Hey, I did heroin to your song, Heroin." No. Exactly. It was kind of like that. Well, that is completely missing the point. Oh yeah, people God. completely missed the point. <laughs> that is spitting on the point, actually. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of like when kids were like, "Does any? I, mean, I might be a geezer, but um, does anybody remember the Dare program?" Oh yeah. God, that was a program? massive yeah. failure. That was like, massive. It, okay, so Dare, if you don't know, was a program that was. I don't know if it was more of a Northeast thing or if it was a, a national wide thing in America. I but think it was a national wide thing. Because yeah, back it was. in the 90s and I think in the 80s, everybody was like, the war on drugs was bad. We have to say no to drugs. For some I just reason. saw. No, I just saw a uh, documentary on that about how Nixon actually like vilified it or like intentionally vilified it because it was creating too much anti-war sentiment. Mm -hmm. and it was causing people to not want to go to war. So he tried to vilify it as much as possible, and they even fully admitted in papers that they knew that they were lying about it. Mm -hmm. Even though it, bas it basically, in the 50s and 60s, they actually had mental disease on the run. Because you could just walk into a therapy unit, like Cary Grant actually got this, the actor. He's, he's a famous old actor, if you don't know him. Yeah. No, I know he was depressed, about. and in the fifties, he went to a therapy, uh, a therapist for LSD therapy, and they got rid of it in like a week. Okay, I'm taking that shit, please. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember they made it illegal because Nixon wanted to uh, make you fight in Vietnam more willingly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, he, oh, and also the war on drugs was also started by a dude who lost prohibition, but he wanted a way to oppress black people, and a direct quote from the man, his name is Henry Aslinger, well, uh, oh, was, uh, no, a direct quote from him was, we need to make drugs illegal, even if we have to lie about it, because it is, is, in his own words, he said, drug use is essential to the black spirit, and I need to break it. It was wow. just, I'm sorry, it what? Wasn't... It yeah, was, yeah. It, it was yeah. the war, no, no, the war no, on drugs. Yeah. The war on drugs was started by a man who unironically believed this and did oh, yeah. it for that reason. Did you hear about Nixon's former advisor who admitted that the reason why they didn't legalize marijuana is because they wanted to make sure they could keep locking up their political opponents? Oh, doesn't surprise me at all. That no, sounds yeah. like a very no, Nixon thing to do. Like, no, I still remember hearing the uh, like the truth about why uh, marijuana was legalized. It was because yeah. of some racist politician back in the 30s who yes, really did not like yeah. Mexico. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah, Illuminati did a good video on the whole thing, uh, talking about, like, uh, cannabis versus just, like, what, was it, like, really about, like, uh, energy developers want, or paper companies? No, it had actually more to do with just bigotry. Yes. Yeah. Also, um... Gun laws are actually the same deal because the idea of, oh, only militia should have them was a KKK argument just to make sure that they thought that if they argued that successfully, then it would be an excuse to not give black people guns. So, yeah, the militia argument comes from the KKK. <laughs> I come back to KKK. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. In other words, we're talking about stupidity. Yeah. Oh, so the usual. Specifically <laughs> how governments lie to people because they are the government. To quote mm -hmm. at Mystery Science Theater 3000, <clears throat> I'm the government, I'm the government, I'm the reason nothing works. <laughs> <laughs> so heads up, apparently certain Best Buys tomorrow might have PS5s in stock. <laughs> you well, expect them to actually get to actually be in stock no, then. It, it, here's the thing. They have to, they're in store only. So okay, good. Is, tomorrow, is, just, is it like a letting new you know. version or something? Uh, it says both. Let's let me get it. Let's see. Best might worth checking. I'll, I'll put the link in the chat. Jesus Honestly, I'm just I'm too. just ignoring everything that people say about like online for the next two well, days. Wario sixty four is a usually pretty good source for when it comes to sales and like stocks uh, of uh, next and stuff. two days. <laughs> I'm ignoring everything. Why are you ignoring everything the next day? Because it's April Fools. 
Draw! Oh. Jesus right, Christ! Right. Sorry. No, you're fine. Also, oh, there you go. There's your hat. Yeah, to, to, to move. I mean, to kind of give you an idea of how people Lock are doing in April. Jesus to Christ. Give an, ah. To give you an idea of also what people are doing for April Fools, um, Derpy Boru has now has joke has done an April Fools joke where they apparently joined NFTs. Yeah. Oh, okay. One of my groups it's... is doing that as well. <laughs> okay, I don't know if whether or not that's like good taste or not. I mean, it's I... a joke. Yeah, it is a joke. Like, okay, something like that, I can you know make a like I can laugh at because like <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing everybody else is doing. I mean, I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. I don't know if that's an April Fool's joke, but I'm just gonna. Go to work <laughs> I mean, you don't, I, got a I mean, is this coming? I mean, Goldie, just want to point out, is this coming from the guy who does have a room, who ha did make a room to talk about NFTs? Yeah, yeah. because I mean, so many people got sick and tired of hearing about it in the internet fails. So I legitimately yeah. had to be like, okay, like it's still like a current issue, and we just want it to stop. Uh, but some people are, like, morbidly curious about, like, if there's any update and such. And there has been some benefit off of it. And that is hearing certain websites of entities that got shut down or got busted for whatever the hell it is. Or some sort of karma. And I'm like, yes, please. Because we don't need this shit. I mean, a lot of it are being revealed to be scammed, so it's not surprising. Have you watched the folded uh, humans, like, two-hour-long video on NFTs? Like, and how they're, like, in in what's like, really tied to the to the uh, the whole cryptocurrency model? Integrated, in I believe, is the word you're looking for. Also, uh, Riley, I don't want to really waste brain cells on NFTs, Integral? considering how eventually exhausting they are. That, that was either a note word. Go ahead. Integrated might be the word, but I'm, I don't know. It doesn't sound right. Anyways, what were you saying? Me? Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, that's the thing. Like, whenever I like, I have to stop and let someone talk. I <coughs> easily lose track of what I'm talking about. Um, you know, like, don't worry, it's... I brain fart too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But this is the same. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, NFTs, and uh, the the general thing is is that. Whenever it comes to most news of NFTs, I just want to hear, like, something that, you know, is more, like, sort of, like, harm on the end. Because it's the kind of shit that, I like, nobody should ever condone, but they do it anyway. I mean, they steal, pe from, they steal from people and then try to make money off of it. Yeah, exactly. And it's, like, the people who do, who actually do art with it, it's like, okay, I understand, but you're kind of using a model that no one likes at the moment. And just, like, trying to bring some ridiculous type of value to it. It's a JPEG. Like, somebody could take a picture of it with their phone. They that's why people go around... It. Yeah, that's why so many people do the... I can just screen cap it and that's it. It's a true... NFT word. owners when I right-click and save the image anyway. <laughs> and I think another reason why I think another reason why NFTs get such a bad reputation is because half of the NFTs you see are just ugly. Yeah. Never they're, once they're, like I rarely have ever come across so an ugly. NFT that's actually tolerable. Except for maybe the, the guy I follow who does photography. But that's, you know, my thing. Ooh. Other times it's always those stupid bored ape yacht thing. <laughs> Monkey! I don't even those think Those monkeys are ugly. Yeah, no, like, I don't even think Robin would approve of that don't shit. Don't let Robin hear you say that. Ooh, no, Here it no, is. No. Here's the word I was looking for. Uh, <laughs> intrinsically? Yeah. Didn't I say intrinsic at one point? No, no you I said, said integral. Else. Integral, right. Integral, yeah. I'm not seeing where you're looking for this word, but okay. No, that was what I was trying to uh, say. Ah, there it is, okay. Yeah. There I see it. <laughs> or monkey. <laughs> the chat. Or monkey. Or monkey. No one tell Robin that because I'm pretty much sure that she'll just get pissed. Oh, Star Chaser, thank you again for the donation. So Yay, we're, donation. At six, we're at 60 now. Uh, hey. Chat. Uh, okay, so we already have milestones for 300 to 500. I can't think of anything for the first uh, 200. I'm open for ideas. Do a tell all. Expose. Do a what? <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I watch a lot of like, 
uh, YouTube Chi channels, because I'm just like, that's my trash TV garbage. I was just thinking, oh, do a tell-all, expose Goral. Oh, a tell-all. <laughs> I kept oh, hearing well. towel, I'm sorry. Yeah, what? I heard, I heard towel, towel too. A tell-all is, is exposing all the deepest, darkest secrets. I'm just what joking. What is going though. on with OBS? I'm getting drop frames again. Have you updated OBS? There has been updates recently. Yes, I updated it. Okay, then maybe it's just... Maybe you have to do a fresh install. That might help. Uh. Or if you want, you could do a Streamlab OBS. Uh, that means I would have to reset up, like, the layer at, like... No, I get that. I get that. Just, mm -hmm. I, I... I hate drawed frames. I want to give a good performance to people. No, it's fine. Yeah, that, you're not gonna get through that way. You have to... It's a maze. Because I've been, I've been trying to find the end, like, uh, what is it called? The, that, that visible cap one? The vanish cap or something like that. What is it? Um, it, it's the blue cap. You can, like, go through things. I was about to say it sounds very Harry Potterish. It Harry Potter and the vanishing cap. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try this. Dude, use down hot sauce like was nothing, huh? Hot like sauce? I'm, I'm not a Tapatio girl, honestly. What? I like me my Tabasco. Tapatio is a brand of... Oh, yeah, Tapatio. Actually, well, actually, an assortment of Mexican products, because they make Mexican ramen noodles now. Oh, yeah, I've tried it, and yeah, it's pretty spicy. No, I like it. Yeah, no, like, I'm a baby. I, I can't do spice. Understandable. Yeah. I, love I love spice. spice. Take me in the, uh... I can handle up to a habanero pepper. Ah, damn it, I missed. No. I do banana My pepper. spice I level know. is India. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's like, it's like, it's kind of like that whole, like, difficulty joke with, like, there's like, uh, what was it? Uh, easy, medium, hard, Asian, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but then Sp there's, and then there's, like, spicy, extra spicy, India. Mm. <laughs> I mean, India. I mean, I think Girl. when it comes to spices from India, all I can think of is that song that became a meme because of um, that. Um, oh, well, there. I had um. Well, there are multiple memes from Indian music. There's a. I know what song you're talking about, the curry song, but um. Yes. No, I had a curry that was similar-ish. Um, the war the menu in it warned me about how the curry had the same Scoville rating as a ghost pepper. Challenge? That was fun. Oh, I bet that was. Oh, I've um, already cleared out Snowman, so, man. Jesus. I right. want to point out, it was jet black, and if I pick it up, or pick up the drumstick that they put in it, because there was a turkey leg in it, the meat, like, almost melted and liquefied <laughs> off because of how potent the curry was. There was a cinnamon stick floating in it, too. Amazing. <laughs> Spicy. Okay, yeah. so scale the mountain. So I have to climb all the way to the top, I think. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Oh, look. Yep, I see Mushrooms. a star right there. Yep. I this remember one, seeing... I... Go ahead. No, go on, go on. No, like, I, I kind of like this level. Not the best. Um, uh, the worst... Honestly, out of all the stages in uh, Super Mario 64, I still think the worst stage, and there's only a reason why I try to have it freeze, is TikTok Clock. It's absolute garbage. Oh, you don't like TikTok Clock. Yeah, because everything is moving, and it's just, it's too anxiety inducing. Oh, you gotta be very specific on that level. Oh, no! Oh, Ow! Fuck me! <laughs> Um, With a, a lube. A Wait, what? <laughs> you I said mean, you fuck said... me. With oh, without wow. lube. Uh, hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and because you also said it, I went a woo. Okay. I just Not think cause... of that rap, the, uh, the one that's like, Bri, after you know this town too, ooh, you're so warm. Couldn't help but notice your people took off the floor. Galaxy in the background. Wait, did you just do that song? Yes. 
Yes. Oh my god, I know that song. Oh, oh my no. god, somebody knows what I'm talking about, oh, yes. I know that song, Oh, I'm so glad. I, I yeah, harassed my one. husband with it. It's fun. Yeah. What the fuck, OBS? Yeah, I noticed that too. It froze for like a little bit. What I find funny is that your task uh, bar window thing, the one that should have like the, what is it, title bar, it's at the bottom of the screen for some reason. Yeah, it says emulation started. Ah, Jesus! Oh, that's fucking not the title bar. Get then, out of the way. He, he's gonna have to fix it up once he gets out of this section. Like, are you guys not seeing the screen? No, no, no we no, can't see the screen. But like, we could literally we could see like the top the bottom menu. of your, the like the bottom part of your of the um oh. of the thing says emulation. Well, it's start. not um it's not on OBS, uh, so okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Oh, I hit this part. You have to be very specific. Uh, and it also doesn't help that a particular somebody cannot control the camera well. Punch Lakitu in the gonads. Yeah, Lakitu, you're the worst fucking photographer ever. What's a Lakitu? Lakitu is like one of the reoccurring villains from, um, well, enemies in, in Mario. He's, he's the enemy who floats up on the cloud and he tosses those fucking spinies. Yeah. Ah. But in this game, he he's a he cameraman. Basic, yeah, he's the cameraman. Talk about a downgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Look, I was a villain. Now I he am a silver. Okay, give him a break. He went pat, to college pat, pat, for this. He, he went to he, he, oh, no, that's he went to no, he went to therapy for this. He's trying to go out with his hobbies that Kitty. are evil. Kitty, are what? you saying the reason why he's a photographer is? Because he couldn't. No, the reason he. Okay, sorry. Hold on. I messed that up. <laughs> Are you saying the reason that he took up uh, villainy is because he couldn't make it as a photographer alone? <laughs> well, it's either he that needed or a side it. Cast, so he chose villainy. Well, it was either that you or clown it. college. <laughs> oh shit! His mom wanted oh. him to be a doctor. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, and apparently uh, that wasn't good enough. Also, Kitty, I feel offended no, considering I want to be a photographer. <laughs> but well, I'm not fun. saying... I, it I mean, is. No, don't get me wrong. I do, like, a lot of photography and cinematic shit, like, on my Instagram, so I get that. I was just making a joke about, um, Lakitu saying his mom wanted him to go to, like, be a doctor. He wanted to be at a, a college, or he was that, or clown college, just to make it by... Oh, so Steve. I know, I was joking too. <laughs> Steve, oh, uh, because Steve, Steve, Steve went to Clown College. Okay, I just, just for the record, like, I didn't know until, like, I heard the announcement of Jackass 4 that Steve had a YouTube channel, and I was in love with the channel. He was talking about his, like, personal experiences and everything. Like, he talked about his stories with Tony Hawk, and it's like, dude, I could hear this guy talk about his stories all fucking day. He's a fun guy. But he's a cool guy. Ow! Fuck cool guy. you, what shy did you do guy. With the monkey. Oh, okay. You the monkey took your cat. Well, yeah, I got a bigger issue right now. This fuckwad. <laughs> the monkey took your cat. <laughs> <laughs> there. So what happened last night? Well, a monkey decided to take my pussy away. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> hey, uh, kitty. Yas. Considering you said that. Ahem. Give me the give me the pussy balls. No! Feed my children. Oh, no! <sighs> oh, it interrupted my song. Damn it! Sorry. Game. You're fine. You're fine. It's I was okay. when, when I was referencing Filthy Frank. Oh. Di didn't uh, didn't Filthy Frank regret his popularity? Um, Joji kind of, in essence, stepped away from the popularity because people took, people genuinely thought that the persona he did, you know, obnoxious edgelord who spatted, like, offensive things online was gen as genuine, even though he was just parodying how the internet thinks, and that it was all just humor at the end of the day. I was able to see it as humor in general. How the fuck did people thought that was serious? I mean, you literally have a scene or a segment where there's people resembling different kinds of social media, ranging from like I, I still I still chuckle at this. Like uh, he ranted about uh, what was it, Twitter, 
Um, there was actually a scene where, like, a bunch of, uh, people, right, like, yeah, I'm just, I was literally just talking about that, but no, we have a small moment where there's an, a, like, a, somebody playing as an old man, ah, damn it, no, playing as an old man with a, uh, uh what is that, a crutch? Mm hmm And it's a, it's supposed to resemble MySpace. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> it's just like, oh, was there a party the one's here? tycoon. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there was also the time he. Well, there's also the time where he made fun of uh, internet rappers and also um, weeaboos. Pretty much, he made fun of everybody. But I think my favorite one is always the internet rappers. Oh my god, god it reminds me of the song Weeaboo. Because um, Weeaboo. Oh damn it! Uh, no! Give me my hat back, you little shit. <laughs> 